So hi guys, we're back for period or quarter two of the game. Current score of Geelong 0-3-3, Hawthorne 2-2-14. And um, just an update, so a couple of things that I didn't do quite right. Um, one is the rook. If there's a rook, it's the highest rook value for each team on the old whole field. Um, and the ground, ground blast I've actually not been doing when you roll the dice and it says one it's you double that and that's the number of minutes so it should be four if it's a one it's it's four time periods not two time periods for one minute it's actually two minutes um, so thanks for the clarification there so let's start the second period I'm going to try just rolling the dice and see if it works better so we're going to start with a bounce in midfield and it's a three which is a rook believe it or not so the rook best rook for Geelong we have a three and for Hawthorne there's a two so three v two so Geelong win and the white and the red dice says they do so on the bounce there's a rook and it's Geelong win so we move on to the action chart and a seven is a ground <laughs> ground blast so see how many minutes six so that's 12 minutes one two three Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So we're already here on this game. So the first thing that I'm going to do, of course, is um, we have a line change in the middle of that. So let's have a look what we got. We got the defence here. Let's take Stuart off. We've got a midfielder, Selwood will come out. Higgins off. And then we can take a forward or a midfielder, I think we'll take the midfielder. then for we have a defender so Sam Frost comes back in Diego O'Meara I'm taking the good players off because we've only got seven minutes left in this ten minutes so they'll save three minutes each um, I think I'll take so this looks like it's going to be a low scoring period I missed a player somewhere Ooh, didn't I? Nah, MP. Right, so let's see what happens here with the blast. We have a six, and so on a ground blast, it is star, and we're in the midfield. So we're looking at star quality one, three, three and a half, four, four for Geelong, half, one and a half, two, two and a half, three, four, five, four. Hawthorne and the dice roll is four so Hawthorne win so we're going to start with Geelong see what they do and it's number 12 who is Luke Dalhouse he gets a missed shot so eight on the missed chart is kick goal left 
So for Geelong, it's going to be Dalhouse behind. So 044 for those and for Hawthorne it's 95 he must have a star so that's no good because Hardigan doesn't so we roll again 16 16 is Jonathan Kegler and his one becomes a two gets a bonus so the green dice is going to be two or less and it's a four so he's missed and on the miss chart we have a four goal line ball and a five is a rushed behind so the ball is not to be knocked behind and so Kegler gets a behind so they become two three fifteen and it means that Geelong will have the ball in their defensive end now, I like rolling all the dice together a seven is another ground blast this is going to be a very quick period two so that's four minutes we're already down to the 17th minute and the green dice is a two which is a tackle quality so we're looking in the defense here and so we've got for Geelong half for Hawthorne half one so Hawthorne have got the better so Hawthorne will win so we go to Geelong let's see which player 96 that is uh, it would be wouldn't it that guy there, college snitch. We'll call him Jake. So he's going on the missed chart. Eleven, muffed kick, and a five, no score. So Geelong gets a muffed kick, no score. For Hawthorne. So this could make a big lead for Hawthorne. It's a very low scoring game this. Eighty-five. is Liam Shields so he gets a, a two the green dice is a two so Shields kicks the goal and so the score is now not 4-4 four, four Geelong and Hawthorne are now 3-3 three, three. 21 so 21 to 3 and we're going to have a bounce in the center 3 is going to be a rook so I think we still got the 3 rook on for Geelong still got the 2 rook on for Hawthorne and Geelong with the three will win the rook so they will have possession could do with getting at least one goal before the end of this half four is a mark and the kicker is going to be O'Connor and sorry the kicker yes the kicker is going to be O'Connor and Evans is going to be his mark man so it's a one and a one it's a six so it's a missed mark so we have a loose ball we need the green right die again and it is a five so we're looking at skill one one and a half, two, two and a half for Geelong. One, one and a half, two, three, four, for Hawthorne. 
so it's only just it's not it's not two so it's going to be a one and a four will mean that the four means that the loose ball is won by Hawthorne and they will take control with a four in the mid and Hawthorne eight is going to be a tackle and the tackle is going to be between James Worrell for Hawthorne and Jordan Clark Worrell has a half disposal Clark has no tackle so Worrell wins it but it's a six so Hawthorne will lose that to Geelong and the blue dies two and it's in the midfield the defensive team wins so they'll take over possession in the mid section mid area of the field eight is a scramble as we move into the last two minutes of this half there's not been much scoring it's been a big defensive game mainly due to the two ground blasts um, so we've got an eight which is a scramble two is clear so what do Geelong have on clear one one and a half two and a half three three and a half and for Hawthorne one one and a half two two and a half three and a half four and a half so Hawthorne win again but they needed to be one to four on the red dice and it's six so Geelong win dice is blue on a scramble midfield of the team in possession they're gonna stay in midfield could do with getting something and scoring a goal before the end of this half minute and a half remaining five is a referees chart so they're all the yellow dice again six a bit difficult for you to see but it is a six six on the referees chart in the mid is going to be defense tackle below the knee so there's a chance for a mark and it is going to be Cameron Guthrie trying to get it to Francis Evans kick two so the green dice is going to be a two and it is not so it's going to be a miss chart six and this is going to miss the ball goal right so Evans will get a behind and so Hawthorne will take the ball in their defensive 50 7 is going to be a ground blast and it will be the last action of this period and a 4 is going to be clear uh, sorry a four is going to be the one percent so Geelong have got half Hartigan so Hawthorne have got one two two and a half three so that's plus two and it's going to be with them in their defensive zone blue die one rolls and it's a four So let's see what happens. Who's going to get the ball? The missed chance for Geelong is 44, who is Parfit. And Parfit rolling on the missed chart is an 8. So we'll miss to the right. So for Geelong, Parfit gets a behind. The third behind of this period 
and for Hawthorne, 34 is Burgoyne. Burgoyne's got a two, so we're going to roll the green dice. Needs to get a two or less, it's over, so he's going to miss. Nine. Long range kick hits the goalpost and goes for a behind, so Burgoyne. Gets a behind as the buzzer for the second period ends. And that was a very quick period because we had three ground blasts in that. So let's have a look. So we've now 066 for Geelong and 3 4 22 for Hawthorne at the half. So we can reset everybody all these players will come off because they're the <coughs> original interchange players so let's see who we got to come on We've got a forward, another forward, midfielder, he must play midfield. Oh, let's put some chips on these guys. Got a defender there, McAvoy. And I need somebody to come back into midfield from the forward line. Have we got anybody? No. He can go into midfield. We can bring him by going into defence and Mitch Lewis will go forward and then these four guys will come off. So effectively we're starting back with the original lineup for the second half, as you probably would. So we've got a midfielder. We've got a defender, a forward, and we've got a defending midfielder. We can bring him to play forward. He can play mid. Although I think we'd probably put him mid and him there, so he needs he needs and he needs. So we're all ready for the start of the second half. And I think we'll just carry on. We'll just carry on. We may as well. So we're going to bring begin the second half with a bounce up in the middle. Five home team. So Geelong get the bounce. And they take possession in midfield. Need to start doing something about the current situation. Nine is a scramble. And the three is clear. So Geelong have got one, two, two and a half, three and a half, four, four and a half. And Hawthorne have got one and a half, three and a half, four, five five and a half so a plus one but <laughs> oh look we've got a six again Hawthorne loses beginning with Hawthorne now getting the, the bad breaks so a six on a scramble in the midfield to the offense it's going to be a mark we haven't used the black dice so I can use them so it's going to be O'Connor to Holmes and that is going to be a one so one So it's a missed mark, so we've got a loose ball. And a five on a loose ball is the skill. So two, three, three and a half, four, four and a half, five for Geelong. One, three, three and a half, four and a half, five. So it's five, five. Red dice is a five, so Geelong will lose out to that, so.
it will be the defense on a three with a scramble in midfield is going to take possession in midfield so Hawthorne have possession in midfield and we're looking at a two which is a highlight reel Got to roll it again because of the yellow dice so let's see what the highlight reel is mid in midfield seven mark inside 50 kick at goal for the forward so they get a mark and it's going to be a kick at goal for German Impey he's a one so he's going to miss so let's see what happens on the miss chart eight he's going to pull it left so Impey gets a behind and the first point on the board for Hawthorne in this second half leading 6 to 22 so Geelong have the ball in their own defensive 50 and a 4 is a mark it's going to be from Atkins to Selwood so a 2 is good so the mark is good and it says here blue die six and they're going to kick it into the midfield so we've got the ball in the midfield Geelong trying to get back in this game four is another mark This time it's going to be O'Connor to Evans. O'Connor's a kick one. Evans is a is a mark zero, so he's going to miss the mark. So we're going to get a loose ball, and we're looking at five, which is skill. Half one, one and a half for Geelong. Half one, one and a half two for Hawthorne and it's a five so Geelong will win so they win the mark in the forward in the midfield so it's going to be successful to the forward and he will get the kick chance so he will go he's got three so it'll be five green dice and it's three so Geelong will get their first goal with Evans so Geelong 1 6 12 Hawthorne 3 5 23 so we're gonna have a bounce ball at the start roughly bounces the ball two it's gonna be a rook so we better check the rook status here because they've changed got a 2 for Geelong, a 3 for Geelong so the 3 for Geelong for Hawthorne we've got a 2 that's the best, so Hawthorne win and the sorry Geelong win so we've got a bounce with a rook and Geelong come up with the ball in the midfield so Geelong beginning to press, remember they actually won this game 69-64 in real life, so 9 is a scramble. And for a scramble we're looking at 5 which is skill, 2, 3, 3 and a half, 4, 4 and a half, 5, 1, 3, 3 and a half, 4 and a half, 5, it's even, so the team in possession, so that's going to be Geelong and a five on a midfield scramble is going to be a mark chance mid to forward so three is going to be 
Duncan is trying to get it to Hawkins. So it's a three kick, three rook. It's going to become. It's going to be good. It is a six. So the mark is made. The kick is good, and so the kick is a six. So he makes that. And so Hawkins. with a goal and suddenly 2618 to 3423 two quick goals for Geelong bringing them back into the game go back to the center with the referee to give us a bounce three is going to be a rook we know it's a plus one so Geelong are going to win the rook in midfield so Geelong coming on strong in this third quarter six is going to be a crash and a crash is between the two players three for the offense Duncan six for the defense how and it's a six on a crash it's going to be offense wins so G long wins that one and a four and it's going to be advanced to the forward 50 so G long moving up to the forward 50 again they've scored two goals already in this quarter Five, a referee. So we'll roll again. Seven on the referee's chart. Ball out of bounds. So it's out of bounds in the forward zone, and we'll go to the throwing chart. And the throwing is a three, which is going to be going to be a rook. So we already know that they've got the better rook and so they will win that in the forward 50 Geelong keeping on the pressure four is going to be another is is a mark so we're looking at smith to dalhouse dalhouse so it's going to be a three and so it's going to be a missed it's going to miss mark so a loose ball and a six is skill half one one and a half half one one and a half two so defense wins and it's a three so they do so defense wins and they take possession so hawthorne in their own defensive 50 take over Two is a highlight reel. I'm going to roll that again because we need the yellow dice. Six minutes into this game, six on a highlight reel in the defensive 50. Intercept mark defense. So there's going to be an intercept by Geelong. And they're going to be in the midsection. So Geelong. Nine is a scramble. We're looking at one, which is one percent. So we're looking at the one percent. So it's half. One and a half, two and a half, three for Geelong. Half for on so they need one to five and it is so Geelong win it five in midfield it's going to be a mark opportunity so that's going to be Stanley to Jake he's got a two mark with a 
one kick, so a three. We've used that green die, so we need to roll it again. And so it's a good mark. And because it's a good mark into that zone, he's going to get the chance of a kick. His kick is not, so it's not going to be successful. Oh, I've gone the wrong way because it should have been to Evans. So I need to go back here. It would have been a missed. It would have been a missed because it's only a one and a naught, so it's a missed um, mark. So we'll go back and do the loose ball. And we're looking at clear, so we've already decided one, two, two and a half, three and a half, four, four and a half against one and a half, three and a half, four, five and a half, so midfield wins but one to four they're gonna lose so Geelong get the ball and they stay in the mid zone sorry about that I made a little mistake there I went to the defender instead of the forward so Geelong still with the ball and it's an 11 ball in the air I've not had this one before this is good offensive quality versus defensive quality three so it's one percent offense against star defense so they've got half one and a half two and a half three against star half one and a half two two and a half three five so that's a plus two so Hawthorne will win and a two in midfield for the defence is going to keep the ball they're going to take the ball in midfield so Hawthorne so on the referee's chart it's a 10 offence called for pushing in the midfield so it's a defensive mark so they're gonna go six who is O'Connor to three Holmes so it's a one and we've got a four so he's gonna miss that so we're gonna go for a loose ball five we're looking at skill half one one and a half half one one and a half two so it's going to be won by Hawthorne in their defensive 50 so becoming a bit of a defensive battle at the moment Hawthorne with the ball 10 is out of bounds so it goes out of bounds in their defensive 50 and we can actually just use these dice because we're not being used the three from the throwing is going to be a rook and we know that they have a one better chance so it's going to be won by Geelong in the forward 50 so this is a good position for Geelong to be in in the forward 50 can they make it count eight is going to be a tackle as we start the ninth minute this is a lot more action packed this period so it's a tackle in the ninth minute and it's going to be Holmes against Hartman neither of them have got the trait that they need so it goes to the dice and so it's going to end up with the hooks with a five because it's not a four so they are in they take control in the defensive 50 and it's a four and that's interesting yep so 
got to remember that Geelong were the ones that were on the offence so it's the offensive 50 not the defence the forward 50 not the defence 50 <coughs> when you check in 9 9 is a scramble and we're looking at 3 which is skill half 1, 1 and a half against 1 a half, one, one and a half, two, so Hawthorne win that challenge and the three says yes they do and the blue dice is a five in their own defensive 50 so they'll advance up to the midfield as we start the tenth minute of this period Eight. Another tackle. So this time it's going to be between Shields and Stanley. So Shields has disposal half. Stanley does not have tackle. So we go to the red die. So it's going to be won by the team in possession and two in midfield. We'll keep them in midfield. Walk on looking to try and get back into this game. Five. Back to the referee. Three on the referee is offense fails to dispose of ball. We're in the midfield. So the defense, so Geelong will take over in midfield. And we are now going to have some substitutes again. So the four disposal, the four players will come back onto the field. Four interchange players. And so let's have a look what we've got. going to come off Hardwick is going to come off Bruce is going to come off and Kegler is going to come off. So the four interchange players are back on for Hawthorne and for Geelong. Let's have a look what we've got. We need a defender. So Stewart will come off. Higgins comes off. Henderson will come off. And Guthrie comes off. So there we have it. Geelong with the ball at midfield. Six is a crash. And the crash is going to be between Duncan and Mitchell. Green dice is a six, so we're looking at offensive wins automatically. So they take the, the ball and a two on a midfield offense wins is the chance of a mark. So we're going to roll those dice again. So we need the black and the white. So the mark is going to go from Reese Stanley, kick of one, up to Francis Evans. So he's going to miss the mark. Mark's going to be missed. 
because of four they need a one and the loose ball is a clear we're up in this section here so half one one and a half for Geelong half one so Geelong win that and the four count confirms that and the six on a win means that they keep that in the forward 50 seven ground blast five so that's ten minutes six seven so it take us all the way to the end of this period and so we're looking at disposal so disposal for Geelong is one for Hawthorne is two and a half so Hawthorne win but it's a six so they lose so let's see what happens with Hawthorne first and it's going to be 55 who is James Impey he will get a shot on the miss chart three short kick three offensive control ball and kicks behind they have to go to the who chart so if something happened and 98 McAvoy gets the behind for Hawthorns so their second behind of this period 44 is Mears he's a 2 becomes a 4 so less than a 4 less than or equal to 4 and he gets the goal it's a 3 so for Geelong Mears gets the goal and the Hooter goes for the end of the third period and it's Geelong 3 6 24 to Hawthorne who are 3 6 24 very low scoring game but um, let's have a look we're 45 minutes in so I think I'll play the rest of the game we might as well So all the changes have been made and as you can see all the chips have come off because the only two players left to come out at 11 minutes are the two interchange players that are left so both teams 3 6 24 as we start the final quarter two is going to be a bounce and then a rook I have to check to see if we've got anybody rook three I think that's going to be the highest for Geelong and for these guys rook 2 in fact I don't think they've even got a rook 2 they've only got a rook 1 so 3 and so Geelong will take the ball in the midfield they've come right back into this game on the run so somebody's going to run and it's going to be they're going to then try and kick so it's going to be O'Connor who's on the run and he's going to try and eventually kick a mark to Sean Higgins and so it's going to be a 1 we've got a 3 so it's a miss so he's missed the mark and loose ball is a three which is a clear half one one and a half two for Geelong half one for Hawthorne so the three says that they do win the 
loose ball and it'll stay in the forward 50 Geelong putting the pressure on again nine scramble so we're looking at clear half one one and a half two for Geelong half one for Hawthorne three says yes the clear is correct a blue die of two in the offensive zone for the offensive team and they're going to stay in the forward 50 so trying to work a better position eight is a tackle and that's going to be Hawkins for Geelong and Hartigan for Hawthorne neither have got the trade that they need so it's a tie and a six will give it to Hawthorne and a one in the forward 50 for the defense will stay in the defensive 50 so Hawthorne working it out from their own end of the field seven ground blast two so it's four minutes one two three four and we're looking at tackle one one and a half two for Geelong half for Hawthorne so Geelong win the red dice confirms it so they get the ball in the defensive 50 with a one defensive team winning in the the non possession team winning So they're going to, Geelong are going to get the possession. So we're going to have to see what happens because they might have scored. So we're going to start off with Hawthorne and we're looking at number one, who is Kegler. Let's see what he does on his miss. Six. Missed goal right. So for Hawthorne, it is Kegler gets a behind so it puts him in the lead momentarily for Geelong 50 is Smith 2 plus 2 is 4 so he's got anything lost less than or equal to 4 and he's missed it so he misses 3 short kick 6 defensive possession so they actually doesn't get anything and Hawthorne get the ball in their own D50 so Geelong miss and Hawthorne lead by one point 3624 to 3725 7 ground blast again this time 8 minutes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 six seven eight before we look at anything we've got the two substitutes to take off and the two players to bring in and similarly for Geelong Can we do anything to get this midfield, this guy up the front, yeah. So we drop him down to defensive mid, he can move to mid, he can come up front. So here we go, let's have a look, we've got a 4 on a ground blast, it's 1%. So half, 1, against 1, 2, 3, 4 four and a half five and a half so I think it's clear to say that Hawthorne won that what does the red dice say they did 
So Hawthorne, let's see what happens with Geelong. Player number 64 is Cameron Guthrie. He gets the chance on the missed shots. 10. Video review and a 6 gives it as a behind. So for Geelong, Guthrie behind ties the score. But what about Hawthorne? 13. That is Kegler. And his 1 will become a 2. Didn't want to see that. Have a look at that dice. It's a one. And therefore, Hawthorne Kegler is a goal. So, Hawthorne go up by a goal. So, 3 6 25 and 4 6 30. 4 7 30. Hawthorne lead by 6, so it's a goal difference. And we have a bounce and a rook. We know that the, the, the heist is a 1 and a 3 is going to give it to Geelong. The thing about a 1 is you advance the zone. And if you advance into the forward zone, you get the chance of a kick. So we're going to see who's going to try the kick. This could tie it up. 96 is called him. He doesn't have a star, but unlike soccer, unlike um, when you get a ground blast, he doesn't get any extras. So he's obviously going to miss this. And he does, and he gets a seven, so misses it badly, and Hawthorne take it in the defensive fifty. So terrible. Hawthorne with that one goal lead at the moment. seven ground blast and that's what they like to see so we've got a ground blast for four minutes one two three four two is tackle one one and a half two two for Geelong half for heart for Haw Haw Hawthorne but the five will give it to Hawthorne So we're in the defensive midfield, the team in charge have the ball and it comes out to a new tackle. So we're going to get another tackle. Sorry, that's wrong. Ground blast. It means that Hawthorne, that Geelong get the first chance and it's 40. That is going to be Higgins and Higgins will go on the... Miss chart nine. Long range kick hits the goalpost, so he gets a behind Higgins. So three eight twenty six for Geelong. A goal here would put the game out of reach. Fifty nine is Morrison, and he needs a two. Or less. He gets a one, so Morrison for Hawthorne gets a goal. So 5 7, 37 now for Hawthorne. The game is really over as we come into the last minute and a half. Let's get a, a bounce, and it's going to be 
a rook which is going to be won by Geelong so Geelong have the ball and with it being a one it gets advanced to the 50 and they get the chance of a kick and they need this desperately 48 48 is Smith so he's got a two needs to get a green dice of two or less and they really need this one it's a six so he's missed it six scramble in front of goal defender gets hand onto and knocks the ball back into the goal posts and so Smith gets a behind for Geelong but that's not what they want so we come into the last minute Hawthorne leads the game we have a seven and that's going to be a ground blast that's not what they wanted to see so the game is going to be over six we're going to check star half one for Geelong half so Geelong win so they will get the win on the ground blast let's see what happens with Hawthorne 33 is going to be Lewis how does he do on the miss chart? I think he just needs a, a behind. In fact, I don't think he even needs that four goal line. Grand ball, five. And it's a rushed behind. So, Hawthorne. Lewis gets a behind. And for Geelong, 40. That's Higgins. He's got a one, so he'll become a two. And he misses five scramble in front defender hits the ball so Higgins gets a gets a behind and the horn blows for the end of the game so let's have a look what we have we have Geelong 3 10 28 and Hawthorne 5 8 38 very low scoring game but that's the end of this game hope you've enjoyed it and hope you'll join in you'll leave some comments let us know what you think about this game obviously the more i get to play this the more the better i'll get at it we had an awful lot of big we had one two three blasts in that period and a really big blast there took a lot of time up so i don't know really if i think if i like that amount of time losing to a blast but because it really does keep, give us less chance to get some scores but other than that good game really enjoyed playing it and i hope you'll leave some comments and let me know what you think about it thanks and goodbye